Now this illustration deals with applying OSHA on the supply side, 1926 subpart V, as in Victor. Now remember the previous illustration, we looked at OSHA 1926 subpart K that dealt with construction on the load side. So if a uh, contractor or utility was constructing, uh, say, towers or constructing and in, uh, installing utility poles and then uh, uh, supporting the overhead lines to these utility poles or towers, then OSHA 1926 subpart V would be the section used during the construction period. But once everything uh, was constructed, the lines pulled, uh, everything was ready to power up and everything, uh, and the utility accepted this work if they wasn't performing the work themselves. And then say the utility commission, whoever had the authority to give the final approval had done so. Uh, then uh, OSHA 1910.269 takes over because that's the maintenance standard that we would use. So the key OSHA standard here is OSHA 1926 subpart V that deals with power, transmission, and distribution lines as well as the substations involved. Now figure 1-16 is pointing this out that 1926 subpart V of OSHA pertains to construction on the supply side of the electrical system.